All right, Lunatic Outpost radio listeners. Um, tonight, what we've got going on is a very loosely organized interview with two of my brothers. One of them, which was in the Navy for about six years on the USS George Washington. He was in Tokyo Harbor when the big earthquake, tsunami, meltdown, and all that happened. And just for... Um, Everyone that's listening, there's a lot of cussing, a bit of drinking involved, and keep your children away, just to let you know. That's about it. Here it goes. Lean forward slightly, look straight at the speaker, and listen with a sparkle in your eye, as though you might be thinking, gee, this is the most wonderful thing I ever heard in all my life. You ever heard of hash running? Like smuggle hash. <laughs> <laughs> Smuggling hash. hash. Right. It, it's where you get drunk and you do like run cross country type shit. Nope. Or not even cross well, country. I've seen like obstacle spin, courses. Spin on like baseball bat and then try to run like ten feet. Well, they'll <laughs> they'll get drunk and go running all over the place. And the girl I was dating at the time, her brother was into it, so we were like, "Yeah, let's go check what, check out what they're up to." So we like ran around Human Crate Park. And uh, getting shit faced, hmm. and it was right after beer fest. Anyways, uh, so they like they had a black girl with her, and she was all hugging on me and stuff. And it was part of their test to make sure I wasn't racist or whatever. <laughs> like, <coughs> and, yeah, like you're gonna be like, oh no, like, yeah, fuck? get away from me, darky. Like, <laughs> she's kind of hot, but whatever, you know. Um, so then by the end of it, they're like, yeah, he seems okay to me. He didn't act weird when she was hugging on him. I was like, you dirty fucks, you know. <laughs> And then they're like, all right, you can join our group. So they like had flour and they were spreading, making designs on the ground. And then we're like saying weird shit like flying crow. And then the next person would be like, I'm, you know, riveting frog or whatever. Like, <laughs> I was like, I've said something stupid like trained attack hemorrhoid or something. Like, they're like you can't say anything because you're not part of the group yet. I was like, I'm just making fun of you. I don't know if you can tell. And then they're like, get on your knees. And you know, saying us to whatever the fuck the name of the group was. I'm like, fuck this shit. And like, they started throwing flour at me like, shun you! And saying like, <laughs> you should be ashamed or some shit like that. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, we're going to do brother shots. We got three shots of some fucking whiskey. You can drink whiskey, right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I've never had like Miller... Highlight familiar before? Yeah, a long time ago. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna get started. Natty Champagne and beers. I saw that Excuse commercial. He's like, I'm rich. It's like, I wear the finest shoes. That's why I drink champagne and beers. Never, like, never really been into, like, drinking until recently. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Just drink, like, parties and shit. But never grew up with the cool kids. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Trained attack hemorrhoids. Compact? Yeah. No. <laughs> Fuck you. Ooh, ah. Plastic shot glasses. For the fucking win. Uh, every time I drink some wild turkey, it reminds me of a. Uh, whenever like Mike Griffin's dad used to own that skating rink. Yeah, the ice house. Yeah. Uh, no. What is it? Scooters. Yeah. Scooters. scooters yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We used to like go in there and sneak in fucking whiskey and get drunk <clears throat> for the lock ins and get some head behind the arcade machines. You're telling me. I think the computer just took a shit. She was fucked up, dude. Like, this one girl like sucked up like three black dudes behind the arcade machines and then was like crying and shit about it. Really? We were like, what the fuck? She went to our school. I don't know. Oh my wow. god. She lived up the road. Probably all the girls we grew up with. <laughs> Freaking crazy. It tastes like soap. <laughs> At least it didn't taste like dick. Um, it tastes no? pretty clean. That's what I said. I was like, I thought it tastes like dick. <laughs> you and your dick breath. Oh, California. God damn it. <clears throat> I don't know who that is, so I'm not answering Ocala, Florida. Actually, I think I know who it is. Is that Marine? Hey. 
<laughs> All right, so that was the dude I, I was going to interview or talk to about marine shit. That was his mom. But obviously, he's in jail. If you're in the military and you get a DUI, mm. you go to mass. I don't know the fuck that is. You get demoted. Oh, he's out. Like, he's... What do you call it? Uh, Once a Marine, always a Marine. <clears throat> but he's like, he's out of the Marines. He voluntarily... Honorable discharge. Honorable. He was like... Oh, he's, he's in been, the reserves? No, nah, he's out. He's done. He got blown up twice and had his two purple hearts. And was like, fuck this oh. shit. Oh, the guy that was over here? Yeah, the weird... Yeah. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry, kind of. Dude who was sitting next to me at Thanks, <laughs> not Thanksgiving, Easter. Was it? He looks a little. He didn't look too fucked up for being blown up. Or was it the other dude that was over here when I christened the backyard? That might have been Stu. I don't think he was here. You were sitting next to at Thanksgiving. That might have been Stu. Yeah, he was. It was the one Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, no, he, no, not him. With a beard. Yeah, that's Ryan. He's not him. No, not him. Okay, it wasn't Jerry. Jerry. Sailor, Sailor Jerry. Oh, well, I was going to say, if he's in the military and he got a DUI, he's automatically going to get demoted. And, well, at least in the Navy. Automatic reduction in rank and then half months pay. <coughs> and then lose your license for a year. And yeah. And all that stuff. And all the legal shit. They, uh, well, over in Japan, they stay to look at you. I don't even think about that. Like, sometimes <coughs> I'll be drinking and just drive home. I'm like, well, also the legal limit for military is zero. Zero. Zero, 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 zero. If you have anything, you're driving drunk. So I if don't. you're driving to work the next morning and you drank the night before and they decided to do the little checkpoint at the front gate, you're fucked. If you're hungover, you still have alcohol in your system, I'm assuming? Yep. If you don't blow zeros, you are drunk. So you automatically. And so we have two for CDL zero tolerance. Like, I guess as long as I can like see straight, I'll try. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've done some stupid shit and have like one eye closed. Yeah, like, it's the only way you can see, like driving home from the bar, you're like, what the fuck? Um, it works because you're not like fucking cross-eyed. Or you wake up the next morning like, how the fuck did I get here? And, like, call people. You drove. <laughs> fuck. Like, I don't even remember That's it. In right. you let me drive, motherfucker. In fucking Thailand. I remember the night before at like 10, and then the next morning, I was on the bus going out again. And your butthole hurt. And I, no. No, it felt my good. Mouth, my <laughs> the back of my throat hurt. <laughs> I couldn't talk. I woke up the next morning, like, well, I regained like my memory the next morning on the bus going back to town. So I, just, <laughs> I don't even remember, because I went all the way back to the ship, slept, woke up, got ready, and left again. And I, then I was like, I'm on the bus. And everyone's like, yeah, he's alive. <laughs> I was it's like, where alive. the fuck am I? I was like, shit, I'm late. Wait, what are we doing? it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's that movie where they got the, they take that dead guy around after he dies and they're like partying with him and shit? Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, Weekend at Bernie's. At <laughs> Dressed him in the morning and got him on the bus. So we're getting his ass to work. Putting his arm, <laughs> tying strings to him and shit. Like, Captain's talking to him and like flipping his arms around. <laughs> like, Marionette. He went that way. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so in Thailand, where were you in Japan when the fucking earthquake happened? Oh, I was on the boat in port. Did you feel it? Yeah, it was shaking. Because I mean, like you know, the land moves, right? The water's got to move too, so it was like shaking, just like an earthquake. Right. We all thought it was like some machinery down in the boat going nuts, so we all rushed down in the plant. Like we're in, the, like the whole ship's in the middle of the fucking captain's call, so everyone's in the hangar bay. Like all five thousand some people are sitting there, like just, like, oh god, captain, hurry up, quit fucking bitching about stupid stuff. <laughs> five thousand people. Yeah, in the hangar bay. On one fucking boat. On one boat. That's like a city. Yeah, oh, it's not. It's awful. <laughs> what are the, what are living conditions like? Well, okay, our birthing's about the size of this room, and there's what's eighty a, people. What's a birthing? It's where you live. Oh, it's like your space, your compartment. And how many people? There's eighty beds in a room. Probably about this big. Like you could fucking smell each other. Oh yeah, well, I mean, you're stacked three on top of each other. 
three on top. Five thousand people all stacked in like, like that. Each, each well, I and mean, there's eighty people in a room, and then each each like division has their own room. So we're like all fucking nuke ETs and like the stinky ass mechanics had their room, and then the fucking stupid retards had their room. Is that actual? Maybe yeah, that's stupid their, retards. That's, yeah, the, the SR threes. What is stupid, stupid retard rank threes? <laughs> What, what does a stupid retard get paid? <laughs> Less than us, that's all I know. <laughs> they bitch at us because we get we start out making more than they'll ever make. And I'm like, well, if you aren't a stupid retard. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shit did you do? Well, starting out, I just went to school for like the first two years. Learning about nuclear physics, how to work the reactor. Um, the next year was training up in New York on an actual... Reactor. Like on land? Yeah, yeah, it was a destroyer ship, but it would have like a submarine reactor in it, and then they just moved it up into upstate New York for whatever reason. Because <laughs> that's the best place for one of them. <laughs> Whenever that, Out in the boonies, man. Like, our house was, it was like five miles in every direction. It was, it was nice up there. Whenever that, uh, like earthquake captain, you thought it was like some machinery downstairs going nuts. Did you yeah. like shit yourself thinking it was like something y'all fucked up? No, was, no, we, we're gonna die. I don't fuck anything up. <laughs> fuck, fuck, I'm gonna get in trouble. Perfect. I knew it wasn't me. That's all. <laughs> I was like, I know I didn't fuck anything up. I just gotta go and fix something. I knew whenever and I everyone else is like, fuck, because they just got done doing like some big week long <laughs> thing, and they're like, maybe we wired it backwards. Because there's like this like, this motor is literally the size of like a city fucking bus, right. and like that's what powers the boat. Right, put oil in it. All the boat's yeah. electricity, right? Yeah. And like if they fucking hook these two wires that are like the size of like fire hoses up backwards, then the motor spins the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens a lot. Like so it sounds fucking retarded, but people have done it before. Big DC motor, just huge. Yeah, giant AC to DC motor. Oh. So basically what a nuclear reactor is, is just, you know, it makes a, hot water. a controlled explosion. It's a steamship, so it's like steamboat, yeah. Sally, yeah. nuclear fuel powered. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all it does is make the hot rock, makes hot water, that makes steam to spin the turbines. So that the, the sand niggers wear. <laughs> the turbines. The turbines. The turbines. turbines. People would always, they'd always be <clears throat> nuts when he said turbine. They're like, it's a turbine. I'm like, fuck you. That always cracked me up, like... Because I didn't know what the f how the fuck... I mean, I understood basically... It's a nuclear... It's basically a controlled, you know, meltdown or an explosion, you know, that's just... Yeah, that's... Well, that's the difference between a reactor and a bomb is the startup rate, as they call it, is the rate of fission. Mm -hmm. A bomb fissions really fast. That's it's uncontrolled. It's yeah. A reactor doesn't... It fissions really fast, just not as fast. They don't always explode, but... <laughs> <coughs> I don't always explode, but when I do, <laughs> it's big. I spread out, spread out cesium-123. You are out there, you got your like nuclear engine underneath you looking at Fukushima like dumbasses. <laughs> exactly. They built this. <laughs> it's such a bad design, just like freaking Chernobyl, man. Mm. That's what it came down to. Is they, The earthquake dumped their power, so they lost all their cooling pumps, and then their backup generators... We're on the floodplain. <laughs> and we designed the shit, so, you know, Americans. They're in the fucking floodplain. Well, it's on a fucking island that was known for earthquakes and tsunamis. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. But, I mean, like, it, it's, like putting, it's like putting a reactor in Louisiana, down in freaking... Next to Lake Pontchartrain. Well, they did the same yeah. thing. They're like, we're going to put the pumps that are going to pump out all this water underneath to where the flood levels will be. So they won't fucking work. We need to fucking use them. <laughs> When put these where the floods will oh, be, yeah, that's yeah. what they're I there for. Is the yeah, yeah. What do the Japanese think about Americans in general? They think we're all Tom Cruise and cowboys. Well, you're burning daylight, pilgrim. I saw it. I saw the hey, the flag older flag. the older people are kind of racist. Well, really, really fucking yeah. racist. You fucking nuked us, dicks! <laughs> like <laughs> twice. <laughs> I've been on the train a lot. Going to and from work, and like an old lady will come up and just start bitching at me in Japanese, like fucking raging. And I'm like, Don't, don't commit Harry Carry, bitch. I don't know what you're saying, but if you don't back up, I'm gonna push you over and break your hip. <laughs> Rice will pour out. And then, you know, like, she didn't understand me because I'm speaking English. They're all just like 
say some like insults in Japanese and like raise my fist and she'll like <laughs> shut up real fast and back up. <laughs> And like the the dudes on the train will like grab me and like pull me back. Like you're not really gonna do anything. I wasn't gonna punch her. I mean, no way I'm gonna punch an old lady. You know? <laughs> We're all Tom Cruise doing the dirty Harry. She's so like punch each other stupid. She's like, oh, such a big cowboy going to punch me. <laughs> uh, just, don't, I, just don't say anything. Just put on your surgical mask. And just, uh, yeah, they all wear those things. <laughs> I'd be pissed too. I mean, we fucking nuked them twice, and then. The, Fukushima is like a goddamn Trojan horse. You're like, yeah, it's safe. Take it. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> is what they are always saying on the on the Japanese That's news is up. like the only bombs that have ever been detonated were on us, and now the only nuclear reactor that's ever fucked up <laughs> is on us. Our fault. Shit. That's funny. So, I mean, besides Chernobyl, but the, what? They just are like testing ground for nukes. So What's, there's there's always like yeah. freaking protests outside the base. Where they're like holding a, a a peaceful protest and they're parading past the base back and forth, blocking the traffic and they're screaming like, "We don't need the damn ships here and get the nukes out." They'll probably bring a lot of money in there, though. I don't know. They seem to be doing pretty fine without. Well, they shut down all the reactors after Fukushima. Yeah. And they're they're thinking about bringing a couple back up. How the where do they get their power yeah, from? The solar or wind? Natural or? gas. Natural gas. Lots of natural gas. That's where I was gonna get a job at. Is actually the <coughs> basically their version of GE in the middle of Tokyo. If you think about it, I mean, you've got Fukushima, Chernobyl, Three Mile Island. How long? That's it. I mean, how long have we been doing nuclear power for? Sixty years? Fifty years? Since after the nuke. Okay, so we'll just say fifty years. Yeah. We'll say a hundred years. Just say well, naval nuclear power has never had an accident. Well, okay. So y'all busy too busy. You got a perfect record <laughs> because there's literally like eight fucking safety things that are all redundant. Or if so something if, happens, your ship just disappears. It just sinks. It sinks. What problem? What are you talking about? It wasn't what? a nuclear problem. The the valves froze over, yeah. and that's why the, the well, pressure sank. It's the welder's fault. They didn't weld the ship up. Um, I mean, if you think about it, just for the sake of argument, a hundred years of doing nuclear power and there's three places on the planet that you like you'll never be able to go to for what ten thousand years well fukushima isn't do there, i mean except for like the immediate area yeah, around like the plant 30 miles or something you know across i've been there i took my i took my dosimeter from the ship and went there they told us not to <laughs> where'd you go to fukushima i mean like where we just drove up there like to the point well i mean there's a border around it with like guards and stuff to say you don't go past here but yeah. the rest like around that is all it looks just like chernobyl where it's all like overgrown and there's still like oh, tricycles right. and shit laying around right that's nice well that's what I'm, th I'm saying though i mean it's poisonous you, you can't feel it. it's not like you get sunburned an hour later you're like shit i got irradiated or well, you know and you can't go to that spot for how many years it's a different kind of radiation up there. It's still bad for you, but it's not like bad, like written, not like what immediate. Kind is it? What kind of radiation is it? It's is just it? a picture like a pool ball, right? You hit the, the pool ball with cue ball, it and moves, what are they, right? What are they picture, that's it? like radiation in your DNA. It bam, knocks it out. Yeah, the I other understand. radiation it would be like if you hit a marble into the pool ball. Yeah. So that's what kind it is. Not like ionizing radiation, is what it's called. It doesn't knock your DNA molecules out. But how long can fuck up your shit. How long until it's safe to go there for people? Thousands of years? Probably a hundred or so. I mean, to where they want to go in there and just live like normal people? Probably a couple hundred. So well, I mean, they before, like they, like, before they say it's safe, but in yeah. all actuality, it's safe right now. We're in the Pacific. Where it's like, no less dangerous than going to the beach and getting a tan. Safe, like where the nuclear power plant is. That's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, where it is right now? Oh, yeah, it's definitely bad And there's an bad area for around it. Of what thirty miles, you know, circumference or something that you can't, you can't I go there, or, you, or you'll fucking die. Like you know, your hair will start falling out. You'll piss shit blood. It depends on how long you stay there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't go there and do shit for a thousand years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. There's three places okay, on the planet that we yeah. fucked up in a hundred years that you can't go to for a thousand mm. fucking years, and we've only been I doing the shit. Right. We've only been doing this shit for 50 years. There's places in the Pacific where they tested nukes and they're like, it's safe to go there. And then people live there and like they're eating coconuts or something that was like getting the shit out of the ground or soil or something. And they're all getting cancer and shit. 
from that because the potassium in it was it um, was taking place. The radiation was taking place of that, and then people were eating it, and it was taking place of that in their body, something like that. that yeah, I, I never researched the bad effects because we never have bad effects. No. Oh. So. <coughs> We, we practice all the ways to keep us from having bad effects. We don't have to worry about them. Is that what happened to your hair? Uh, yeah, that's why it looks all super sane right now. <laughs> super sane. I've been this. to Chernobyl and Call of Duty. <laughs> I, I do make it a point every time I'm watching a History Channel. If they show somewhere I've been, I'll be like, oh, I've been there. Yeah. Josh, and like oh. every, time, every time we're watching TV, I'll just be like, Look over and they're talking about like random places. I've been there. <laughs> they're really talking about like monster hunters and like shit. And I'm like, I've been there. And it's like some bunk ass place in South Carolina <laughs> where a lizard man was. <laughs> it's just, you do go there and they're like some <coughs> man t shirts and shit. Sick them dogs Sick on them. Yeah. Sick them dogs. Jackalope. <laughs> Have you ever seen that show? Uh, I think it's called Monster Hunters where. Uh, it's like a big fat guy and a bunch of old guys out in the woods. Yeah. The Ames team can live. Yeah. You don't find Bigfoot. Yeah, they had one where they're like, it's the damn... Crack me open a beer, Kentucky Sally. Kentucky Whistler or some shit. Woo, like, woo. Hey, you hear that? He's all the way up here. And uh, they're like, it's damn chupacabras and Bigfoot. Chup and Big like, there it is, it's whistling. And it's like some guy screaming. Yeah. I'm like, that's not a whistle. Bigfoot kills the animals and then the damn chupacabras are coming in and taking the corpses. That's what's happening. Sucking them suck like, bloods out. They had one where like... <laughs> They had caught the chupacabras in the cage, and there's like some fake ass like puppet things like barking <laughs> at the cracks, and then they heard some big like, noise, <laughs> and they go around and they're like, "Fucking Bigfoot broke them out!" Like, like what the fuck is aliens? This, didn't you know, well, I don't know if they really like. It looks on like they're, they're like on the verge of like busting out laughing sometimes. Like I think it's like you know they know it's fake, but because they're like talking to each other and they're just like, or <coughs> it's like Kentucky Whistler, or this is all bullshit. Hmm. It was either a mountain lion or a Bigfoot lead right here. Like, or like, what the fuck is it possible that, that it was an extraterrestrial biological entity? You got the hair for it. You know, was, I don't know the question, but the answer is aliens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It was Bigfoot. Just think about, like, okay, what's the simplest explanation? Your stupid, fat, redneck ass let this shit out, or just took it out, and then you cut the cameras off and brought them back up there, and we're like, hey, look, it's gone, buddy, woo! Ding! Like, <laughs> we're in a bit, ding! We're in a build this big cage to catch the rock, man. redneck? <laughs> Burning daylight, pilgrim. Is that how they make fun of Americans in Japan? <laughs> like, <laughs> I did see a Japanese guy or Asian guy at the grocery store not, like, a couple weeks ago, and he was wearing, like, some cowboy pants and, like, a flannel, like, cowboy shirt tucked in, like... Big belt buckle? Um, yeah, yeah. I was walking behind him, you know, there's like jeans with like the white like design on the pockets on the back, like straight like cowboyish. Like he was trying to like fit in, it looked like. Um, <laughs> Move down here in the south, you gotta act like him. He just didn't have a cowboy. Down head. that southern Baptist region. <laughs> mm. Did you ever see any weird shit as far as like UFOs or any of that? Yeah. <laughs> How's your butt you feel? told me a pretty crazy story. Man. I got probed. <laughs> <laughs> they probed me in the anal. In the rectum. Um, bunch of gay ass aliens. It's like, <laughs> yeah. What's with the anal probe? Why are aliens gay? I don't get it. Doctors are gay too. I broke my wrist. Let's check your shitter. <laughs> I think I got a sore throat, doc. Bend over. What? What the fuck? There's got to be another way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us, tell us. Come on, spill the beans. UFOs. Blah, there's beans, you want them? UFOs and shit. Okay, so on the globe, we're out in the middle of South Pacific, steaming and chugging, doing laps, just doing fucking circles like we always do, literally. You know, get the GPS down in the control room and we've done circles. Like one of the one of the one of the fucking uh, navigators used to draw dicks. On the <laughs> on this on the fucking plot screen, yeah, he'd do like a figure eight, like he'd do like a figure eight, and then when he came back around, he'd draw it up like a long third loop. That's funny. And make big old dick. How many miles would it be like? It's like fifty miles. Fifty mile dick. Like or fifty <laughs> knots. Oh, that's funny. Nautical, Nautical miles. miles. Yeah, there you go. Knots of speed. So anyway, um, it was like <laughs> probably midnight ish to like one a.m. 
Um, I'm sitting reactor operator. Well, I got the phones on because I feel like listening to the retards up top because we're all on the same stupid, channel. Stupid retard. Uh, sorry, three, three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the stupid retards. <laughs> they're upstairs. Like they're supposed to. If they see something, see something, say something. Yeah, exactly. The sexual harassment. Panda. Um. <laughs> I can't even tell the damn <laughs> So, um, listening in, and they're, you know, they're, if they see something, they're supposed to be like, you know, there's a, there's a contact at uh, bearing, you know, three five zero, um, about, you know, five nautical miles out, it might be a, a boat. I'm like, well, no shit. What else? <laughs> it's a boat. <coughs> We're in and the like, ocean, dick. My favorite was. Uh, Bearing a 180, there appears to be a large orange glowing object on the horizon. So then you hear, you hear the. I know he's a captain because I know his voice, and he's like, Seaman, that's the fucking sun. <laughs> <laughs> Report to the bridge. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> and you hear everyone on the lines like, Oh! <laughs> I don't know if he was joking or not, but he yes. got he got burned hot. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So the uh, another shot. I got one waiting on me right here. The um, so some guys like he's up on the the crow's nests all the way up top. I might go to the gas station in a second. I guess it's right there. Oh shit! He's all the way up top on like the the eleventh floor. It's like above right above the bridge. And the guy's like, "There's a uh, contact." Uh, he's like really panic sounding. And he's like, there's a uh, contact like following us and uh, bearing 180, because that's straight behind you. 180. Yeah, 180. Uh, it's uh, airborne. It's a large, uh, I don't know, get out here. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, report what the contact is now. Is it a jet? Is it a helicopter? And he's like, there's no lights. It's just like a big circle. It's like blocking off the stars. And they're like, bullshit. And they're like, he's like, look out the window. You'll fucking see it. <laughs> so everything like everyone else is like <coughs> you hear like the phones like jostling around because everyone's like throwing their phones off trying to go take a look because right. there's like the ship you know like overhangs and there's people underneath watching it really, too. yeah they can't really so see they up, can't though. see up so you hear like people are throwing their phones off i'm like idiots what are you gonna do if something comes up from the side <laughs> so like they're like oh shit man yeah the shit's right above us it's blocking out the stars man this shit's scary like they're freaking out about that and i'm like and this is on a nuclear aircraft carrier. Like, yeah, that's an aircraft carrier. The problem is this the newest, most of, from what I read about it. Oh, so it's the Nimitz, Nimitz class. It's the newest one so yeah. far. But they got the brand new one coming out with the rail guns and shit. But on like it. right so now, it's the newest, right now it's the best most one. advanced. George Washington. Yeah, the G Dub. The G Dub. The old G Dub. All right, sorry to interrupt. You. Um, so that guy's still panicking because it's fucking right above him. I, mean, uh, I don't know how high it was. Up above it was, you know. No one could really tell how big it was or how high it was. So I'm like, in the control room, right? It's like maybe from here to the truck, out to the trash can. Like that big of a room and there's six people in there. You got me in the middle. You got two throttlemen right here. So I can grab their necks and wring their neck if they fuck up. And then I got the watcho behind me. There's a watch officer. He's like a ensign that's been in the Navy for a year. So he doesn't know shit. And I'm running the show, even though he's my boss. <laughs> and then the log recorder in the back, he's our phone bitch. He just answers the phones and gets the so stupid the bitch. Email. He gets the stupid emails that come out of the printer from the other control room that says, like, hey, fuck you, and they print it to our, <laughs> <laughs> our, uh, our operating room. So it's just I'm a bunch like, of fucking kids running a nuclear. Yeah, yeah literally. Like, we're the fresh, out of, fresh out of high school. <laughs> like, no one in the room except the. Watcho is maybe like 23, because you got to have a degree to be an officer. So, yeah, basically, what he's saying is there's a bunch of juvenile bunch of delinquents yeah, yeah. running one of the most right. amazing pieces of equipment the world's ever seen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you would be <coughs> scared shitless if I saw the reality of it. Uh, we did some fucked up stuff. <laughs> if people <coughs> found out what we were doing in there, we would not be... They would take our keys away. <laughs> <laughs> Even no more, no more subs and aircraft carriers for you. Get your nuts off the reactor. <laughs> I just want to feel the power between my legs. So they're, I'm, I'm like listening in on this. The throttlemen can hear too, but they're, I mean, they're always fucking asleep. So I woke them up. 
<laughs> they're literally just asleep the whole time. Whenever we get a, mm. whenever they ring up a new thing, you know the little the little fucking arrow wings around, and then it makes like a loud ass buzzer and ring. So it wakes them up, and then they're like, they literally just punch the lever, and because they gotta memorize <laughs> how hard they have sleep. to punch it. To, <laughs> literally, I mean, you've been doing it for a year. They're just like, Ugh, punch it, and then the the ship goes and speeds up to whatever you need it to go to. So I'm like, wake the fuck up, shit's going down. Yeah, I'm like, watch out, so get on the phones, lock it. <laughs> get on the phones, and they're like, everyone's freaking out about it. And then like, a couple minutes later, the captain gets on there. He's like, all right, every topside watchstander, after your watch is done, report to this compartment. He gave us like the little address for the compartment. Um, and uh, report for debrief of... Uh, contact you know they designate a yeah for the incident thing. or whatever yeah and then we're like oh shit you know shit's going down <laughs> and they're like the dude's he said you know it took off which is like i mean ufos always do they just beep, take off disappear what <clears throat> i mean could they see it on radar and, uh, or, I mean, or any, any shit like that well no they were the dude outside was like you got you have this shit on radar and they're like we i mean we got something but it's tiny you know it wasn't big, but the shit was, like, there, you know? How big was it, like, as far as description? As far as he was, the guy up top was saying, he said, it, to him, it looked like it was maybe, like, 300 feet up and mm. maybe, like, a 1,000 across. So, like, close as shit and huge. So, really close <laughs> and fucking big. Because yeah, it was blocking, must have been like, you holy know, shit. it was blocking, like, a good 90-degree circle in the sky. But they couldn't like, actually see anything. You couldn't see the stars, that's the thing. It was just that's dark. Because it's pitch <coughs> it's pitch fucking black out there. Right. You so just, you just you saw just... like a circle of stars disappearing as it was coming. That's weird as fuck. It seemed like small shit and like I was like, God damn it seeing something so, like that. Like, no lights, no you know, noise. Unquestionable you know. it's, it's and you're on, pretty fucking nuts. You're on one of the most advanced <clears throat> You know, war machines of all, just cruising and you don't know what the fuck it is. So, it's like mm. it's not like it's another country. We're gonna cruise under the fucking aircraft carrier, three hundred feet above it, and see what the fuck they're doing. Like, yeah. you know, we had to look out with our eyes through the windows. Right. It's probably our country. They're like, look at these fuckers down there putting their nuts on the reactor. Like, <laughs> the we do that. Like, <laughs> no kidding. Totally, We've uh, was... yeah, we christened the uh, the zero tap one rod. That's the central rod. Cesium cack. Yeah, we uh, uh we seasoned it up a little bit. <laughs> We go in there. You go in there every every day to uh, do a little tour, make sure everything's still good in there. No one's trapped inside or anything. No cocks laying on. And to make sure no one's in there beaten off, because that happens. <laughs> that happens a lot. There's little peepholes you can look through, but you don't want to do that. It's a peep show. It's like because <laughs> you know, they put a <laughs> Navy Dick glory hole. <laughs> it's a it's a like a magnifying glass through a tube like this long. Right. Um. But they put a uh, shit called silver nitrate on there. It's a, uh, it turned like it's for the chemistry test to check the pH of the water, <laughs> and it turned like if you put it in high pH water, it'll turn to like milky and it'll look just like skeet. <laughs> and like if you skeet it in some water and it'll the look just like test jizz. tube, it'll look just like jizz. Jeez. And that's how you know if it's bad, right? It'll stay clear if it's good. So they put that on the little ring. And then when you put your eye to it, right, it gets on your, <laughs> it makes a circle in your eye, right? But you don't know because it's clear. Yeah. And then when you go out in the sunlight, it reacts with the sunlight and it turns into a black, like, ink circle around your eye. <laughs> and you cannot get it off because it's, like, in, in your skin. Right. So you just walk around with a fucking O-ring on your weeks. eyes. <laughs> How many people are walking around with, like, black eyes? There is at least, like, two or three a day. <laughs> That's funny. Like, shit. on a daily basis, at least two or three people had one on their face. You were telling me about a... Some dude that would go over and like cut the strobe off the life preserver. Oh yeah, fuck that guy. And like they'd have to shut the, down. Uh, okay, so at night or on like bad sea conditions or like windy, the uh, the top side guys, the skittles, is everyone. I called them. I called them Pikmin because it was they're like lemmings. You know, it's more fitting. <laughs> skittles is cool. You you know you want to eat a skittle. Nobody likes lemmings. So they all wear different colored vests, right? Like purple and yellow, and green and shit. Um. Oh, I gotcha. So, the t you know, every Purple Navy video ever would show the guys on top, go, and then the jet takes off, right? Mm -hmm. Those fuckers. Um, so, at night, they gotta wear <coughs> the vests, right, life vests, in case they fall off like a retard. Like, how do you fall off a boat, for real? But a people huge, do it. Not a boat, but 
<laughs> like, how do you? you a oh, three I, I city... tripped and fell off a parking lot with a safety net on it. Yeah, a three city block long. I tripped net. and leapt ten feet <laughs> to get over the net <laughs> and fell seventy feet. You literally. Oh man, how far is it from the deck to the water? Um, well, it depends on if we got the jets on. It's like fifty feet. If we're pulling into port, we got all the loads off the boat because all the jets got to fly off, and all the bombs and shit are off too. So it's like 70, 80 feet. Where do they put the bombs? Yeah. They fly them off. Like the other aircraft carriers, or to the base. Oh, okay. Air base. So they don't want Okinawa or Atsugi. So you can be up high enough to get in the port. Or no, because you don't want to have a boat full, full of bombs in the, the biggest city on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. City, <laughs> Tokyo, like 20, 30 million motherfuckers. And the Did jet people got to keep. Or? No, no, the jet people do their own shit. We get enough to do. but like, does Japan make? They, Japan doesn't call any shots. Everyone does it. <laughs> All the boats do it. Japan, we kick their ass. We're like, you can't even have guns, bitches. Like, <laughs> seriously, you can't even have a sword. You can't have armies. Fuck you. Like, I was mad about this sword. I was trying to buy one. Like, nope. What was that? Can't sell you. The toy Hanzo. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get a Hanzo Katana. Yeah. <laughs> it was obviously fake, but I still thought it was cool. I mean, it was steel. It would cut something. Yeah. Fucking yeah. sharpen it up. But you break it over your knee. Yeah. Or I break somebody's knee with it. What were we talking about? Uh, flat strobe lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. So some fucker, like, for an entire week, decides he wants to go outside, get a life vest, mm -hmm. Still cut the strobe light off. He's gonna cool? cut the strobe light off the vest yeah, and chuck the strobe into the water. Because the strobe activates I'm when it touches. Like okay. The strobe turns on when it touches the water and it flips. Is that, is that like the one you gave me? So yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like the actually, yeah, just like the rubber ducky I gave you. The little blue vest with the yellow. Yeah. Don't pull <laughs> 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 that shit goes. <laughs> Break your fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an airbag. Um, so this fucker is like, I'm gonna be a bro and, and throw the strobe in there. So he chucks it in there, and of course, I mean, you see this... Pitch black. Pitch black ocean, you see the strobe light. It's like a boat fucking strobe light on there. Because you gotta be able to see it, right? They're like an aircraft strobe. It's really bright. And, I mean, if anyone saw that, they call man overboard immediately. Like, the first person that sees it sprints to the fucking phone and says, man overboard. So the entire boat... Stops. <laughs> <coughs> the entire boat fucking has to go to their space, drop everything, go to their fucking muster point so they can take a 100% fucking roll call for everybody. And whoever's missing is the guy that's over. 5,000 motherfuckers. So in order for that strobe to be in the water, someone else, the guy falls in and then someone else would have to throw that in? No, the strobe's attached, attached to your life to vest. It. Oh, you're always wearing a life vest whenever you're on? Yeah, when you're up top. Okay. That At night. Sense. During the day, you don't wear it because they assume you're not retarded enough to fall off. So does the guy cut his, well he cut one off on the... He cut one off another, just like a spare that's sitting on gotcha. the shelf. Because okay. when you're coming out, you grab it and then put it on. Gotcha. So he just chopped it off and then went out there and hucked it off. But lucky for us, we've got cameras pointing oh. in every fucking direction on say. the boat. So as soon as he came out the door, you know, we saw strobe light and then they went back in the fucking cameras and watched to see who's the same guy that came out every night for this week. And then hey, we went to the same spot, like all the way in the back corner. It was like, oh, this, what's this guy doing all the way in the back corner by himself? And then he throws something. And then like a minute later, man overboard. Uh. So like fucking, <coughs> like waited the, the next time they saw him going out there. They had people watching all fucking night. And they waited for the, someone to go to that back corner. And then they ran out there with fucking guns blazing, basically. They had their nightsticks and their mace ready. And they're like, bitch. Just <laughs> fuck that dude up. You think oh, that's funny? Yeah, like, so beat his ass too. I mean, every <laughs> fucking time they had to, they gotta, they gotta muster everyone, right? So everything stops. You're asleep. For, it doesn't matter. Least, yeah, if you're asleep, everyone gets fucking woken up. You're eating. Fuck you. Get up here. Luckily, our muster spot was in our birthing, so they just knocked on your rack and said, "Hey, are you in there? Are you alive?" I was always in my rack or sitting reactor operator, so that's what I did for six years. I slept or sat in a chair. Six fucking years. Yep, I sat there literally staring at a wall with blinky lights. Blinky lights. For 12 hours a day. <laughs> this motherfucker's running a nuclear reactor. Blinky lights! So you're still doing the same thing now? <laughs> literally, it's a, well, I mean, it's a wall, like, from there to the fucking shelf over there. So, like, a good 10 feet across. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> 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 if 
Facts and beans. Well, the reactor runs itself. You're, the only reason you're there is to fix it or stop it from breaking. Right. That's it. Because they can't make like so. automatic. They had. They do have automatic safety features, but you're there to make sure that you don't need. Because you can react faster than the system can. That's weird. Until they get AI and then y'all are out of out of a chat. Well, they still won't because you gotta have the human people yeah. there. Human people. Yeah. The robot people. But it's cyborg people. What are you trying to say? No, but or, uh, or you people, the worst kind of people. Wait a minute. What? Um. Uh, you all answer to NATO or any of that shit? United Nations, any NATO, any of that? What do you mean? Like, as far as like training and everything went, was I know NATO does shit with Marines. Do they do anything with Navy? Not there, I knew of. It was like just A school was like a college setting. We had some. Fresh, we called them dildos. That was the acronym for their name. Was a direct input limited duty officer. Oh my god! <laughs> the so worst. Who, did, who didn't the see Navy that? The Navy loves their who acronyms, man. Purpose. I noticed that with like Marine dude. He was always like, you know, we do like FLQs. I'm just making shit up. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm just some dude. Tell me what the fuck these letters mean. You're just trying to say fucking I'm, loser quotes is what they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. I seriously, I think that a lot of times they are like they just do these acronyms just because they're like, I'm special. Notice me, like you know what I mean. Yeah. Sometimes, but then, then again, when you're around, like six fucking years, you're doing it. I mean, it's like you got to put the MRC in the LRQ to get the ATM get, machine. Oh, you cash dick! Money. I used to get tired of like saying some long ass words. So you're just sure. well, they they always like <laughs> we don't use days. acronyms here in 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 PTC, the Naval <laughs> Nuclear Power Training Command. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? And they're like, shut it, recruit. I'm like, ah, fuck you. Like WWW, it's shorter to say Worldwide Web. Dub Dub. Yeah. You saw that? Oh, yeah. yeah. The G Dub. <laughs> That's what we called it. People would get pissed when you called it that. They're like, Where's your Navy pride, man? I was like, I left it on shore. <laughs> Back at port. With my. I'm a sailor now. I don't need condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Only like, You're going to wish you didn't say that when we pull in. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to wish I didn't say that when I pull out. Woo <laughs> woo! Well, uh, um, only sailors use condoms. Not in the 90s, Austin. Well, they should, the bloody bastards. They go from port to port. <laughs> oh, man. What's, um, like, politics and shit, y'all? Does anybody give a fuck, or is it just basically a bunch of clowns running a ship? Basically just a bunch of clowns running a ship. Nobody gives a fuck about politics at all. Nope. You are telling me one time... The, like the TV we get is AFN. It's the Armed Forces Network. That's so not propaganda. It's all propaganda. <laughs> Every single fucking thing on there. We're the best! And then they show sports games. You were telling me, like, uh, when you watch, like, the History Channel in Japan, they're like, and the barbarians drop their oh, fucking yeah, yeah. noobs on it. It's the, <laughs> shit on it. It's like, <laughs> it's the, the barbarians. Oh, okay, so picture, like, our History Channel is like, yeah, our war heroes are so great. We General did, uh, fucking and we shit on, like, the other MacArthur countries. MacArthur rescuing the Philippines, and then you go to Japan. And it's like, oh, we are so great. We rescue this guy from this place. And then they're like, these barbarians crash our place. <laughs> <laughs> is that exactly how they talk? Or is just... <laughs> I'm just being racist. <laughs> but like, it's literally the same like boring ass narrator talking about like the same fucking thing over and over. The white skin terrorists drop bomb on us. <laughs> just... Round eye. <laughs> they pass it up. <laughs> Round eye. Guai lo. What's that? Baka gaijin. Baka gaijin. Gaijin. Yeah, I know that one. So I was in Hawaii. They didn't like white people at all. Like, they call us um, howly. 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 I when people like try to insult <coughs> white people. I'm like, how are you gonna insult us? We're superior. We're the white race. <laughs> was this white supremacy hour? Is it? No. Yeah. No, but like, at the end of the day, you're like, fucking white cracker. You're like, I'm still white. Like, <laughs> okay. the privileged. Doesn't matter. Anything. White like, male. Oh, you called me a name. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> all the racist shit against white people. Like, you're rich. You got a job. Like, Why are you working so hard, cracker? Tom, Uncle Tom, you're acting too smart. You're like, <laughs> stop drinking that Kool Aid. <laughs> oh, man. Moon cricket. Moon cricket. What? Yeah. <laughs> what the Oh, it's not an insult if it makes me laugh. <laughs> I was working with the uh, sheetrock guys, and they were like, "He's like, man, y'all." It was mainly black dudes. He's like, 
Y'all got the best racist shit. Y'all done took honky back. He's like, well, we got cracker. Something else. I don't know. And then he's like, y'all got nigga. You got jungle bunny, porch monkey. I even had a motherfucker call me a moon cricket. And I was like, the fuck's a moon cricket, dude? Porch monkey. <laughs> it's like the same fucking dude, man. He was hilarious. Uh, Lonnie. We were, we're, we're hungry, looking for breakfast. I'm like, let's go over to Cracker Barrel. He's like, fuck, I ain't going to no Cracker Barrel. You going to take your, your kid to a child care called Nigga Babies? <laughs> I was like, I used to play with a barrel full of monkeys. Fuck you! Oh, <laughs> oh man. A barrel full of monkeys. So <laughs> Remember that shit? You'd hook him arm to arm? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Crack a barrel. I ain't fuck no, I ain't going there. We had a restaurant called Whitey's. I used to play for their baseball oh, yeah, team. Oh, yeah, Whitey's. Like, what the... F and it was in ghetto town, too, right? In the little fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, well... I think that concludes this shit hour of conversation. Let's end it with a shot. Deso and mango. Deso mango. <coughs> Deso mango. Ooh, yeah. Taking mango pieces. I've never Deso tried it. It's probably gonna be vomitous. I mean, Deso is good. Mango is good. It should be good. Yeah. It's like it's not like you're eating a shit sandwich because of bread. That's, a, that's a shot of Deso and a, a little chunk of mango there for y'all. <laughs> did I just say a shit sandwich because of bread's good? Yes, I did. You and what is it? You and mom, somebody, I think it was you, were telling me about y'all saw like, um, like some kind of UFO with like, it was like orange with some shit hanging below it or something. I, I saw, know. it was at Riceville Beach right by uh, Johnny Mercer's Pier. Yeah, I, I, looked, uh, I saw something, well, you got it. Okay. Interrupt my shit. <laughs> but, uh, so there's one time I was, oh, just, you I was fuck. just talking you to fuck. interrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was right, it was right by Johnny Mercer's Pier after Hurricane Floyd, maybe, so it was like 99. So the pier was demolished, and we're sitting there. Oh, yeah. I'm standing in the breakers taking a piss, and my buddy, Eddie oh, or somebody, he, he comes up and he grabs my shoulder and he points, like, my head's right here, so he points where it's like, I, I know he can, he knows that he's pointing where I can see what the fuck he's looking at. He's like, look! And I'm trying to focus my eyes, because I, you know, I was looking right here, and I'm trying to look at something in the distance. And I realized I was focused on it, and it was a big orange sphere. It wasn't the sun. <laughs> but uh, it was nighttime, goddammit, I think. No, but, Sir, <laughs> the sun is approaching us. <laughs> but uh, at an easterly direction. Um, but but uh, it was a big orange sphere, and it was like it looked like it was made out of glass. Like if, if it were lit up, a piece of glass were lit up, it would get brighter towards the edges. And then, mm. like, not quite as orange in the center, you know? And you can see it. The reflection on the water, it was like three, 400 yards out. Slowly flow. I mean, it was slow, but like that bitch was hauling ass. It disappeared in like a minute, and then I I freaked the fuck out. We all freaked out, like trying to run back to the car. My legs weren't working. I'm like, ah, I'm, like falling down. My legs wouldn't work right. Like, Dick still hanging out, peeing. Yeah, <laughs> pissed all down my pants. But actually, that little bastard didn't hang out anywhere. It was stuffed. Speaking of <laughs> dude, was sucked all the way up inside out. I was in a. We we're in that week long Boy Scout camp. And uh, you had to get on there, like, Boy Scout uniform and shit to go eat and stuff. And, like, I'm, like, walking, I, like, I put it on. And, like, you got to leave your, you know, we had these, like, little green tents. You know, you sleep in, it's got two cots. Like, put my shit on there. Walk, like, two miles all the way to the mess place. Sitting there talking for, like, 20 minutes to these guys in a group. And I feel a breeze. And I look down and my dick's hanging out. <laughs> the whole fucking time. Walked all the way there. And my dick, I guess I, like, popped a boner, like, halfway there. And it's, like, <laughs> You're like, damn, look at that little boy's socks pulled up real high. <laughs> it was like 14 <laughs> popping boners left and right. But like, <laughs> this shit was just hanging out. I'm sitting there talking to people. I'm like, oh, fuck, my dick's hanging out. Like, <laughs> and they're like church Mormon people. So like, they're like too polite to say anything. More like to Someone had to see it. Like, I got my shirt tucked in and my pecker's hanging out. Like, <laughs> You're Jesus peace, sir. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> like, I don't know. But uh, back on the other shit, I saw a... Uh, like what you were talking about, like two of them go over, like one came over and it looked like, you know, when you heat up metal, like really hot and it's like orange yeah, and yeah. yellowy, looked yeah. like that. And it like floated over and I was like, God, that's fucking weird. Smoking a cigarette and saw another one and I was like, it was someone like letting like fire kites or something yeah, loose. Yeah, and like then like Chinese I realized like, lantern yeah, things. the wind was blowing the other way though and they were going that way. Like maybe there's, the wind's Upper different. draft or something. Yeah. I don't know, but it looked fucking weird. It didn't look like a fire kite. Like we saw... Recently, we, we made a fire kite. Yeah. And, yeah, and there's three doing in the back. Yeah, we looked up, like, Dad was like, I saw a flash out back, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. So I got up to look out the window and I look out, and I'm like, 
That's pretty weird. There's like a diamond shaped thing just going along. It looked like four like fire kites going. Oh, that's my favorite on the like hunt for aliens when they're like, there's three objects in the sky and forming so, a triangle. Yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? I'm like, really? It, it, Any dot. It, yeah, it, it, yeah. Three dots. <laughs> Well, no, they could be in a line. <laughs> like, well, no, you're just looking at what the triangle from the side. Are they just... One of was, like, a little bit... Like, kind of extremely perpendicular. Like they were forming a triangle. That denotes intelligence. Yeah, I was about to say. It has to be intelligent. Look at the isosceles angle on this thing. There was two objects making a line. <laughs> oh, this, God. Did those cavemen pound these rocks with another rock? Or was it aliens? <laughs> <laughs> we think they put one on top of the other. But elevation had to be, they definitely used magnetics and uh, <laughs> telekinesis. It was definitely an interdimensional being with fucking sound wave hover technology. Yeah, like, I heard one about the, these rocks. They're like, talking the about fuck? monks, they're like, when they all go home, <laughs> if 500 of them got together, home, they could lift this 20 ton rock. Shut the fuck up. Just, really? I mean, maybe, I don't know, but shut the fuck up. It's just like their crazy speculation on shit. No, the guy is going like Super Saiyan the whole time, like talking about the shit. Um, you see the new commercial for that too? I was like, where it's like hard. it's like zoomed in real hard, and it shows like a cell, right? It looks and like Mars like, zooms or something. Out, and it looks like now it looks like Mars or some shit. And it zooms out a little farther, and it looks kind of like a tree or something. And then it zooms out a little farther, and you can see its hair. And then it goes out, and it just shows like the top half of its face, <laughs> like, and the hair and his hair is Super Saiyan <laughs> up, and it says. Ancient Aliens, new episode. And the whole time, there's like epic <coughs> music. is <It's> like... George <laughs> Sukalos. Yeah. I'll watch them on YouTube sometimes, and like in the comments, people are like, yeah, he did, he's definitely an alien. He could stop a bus with that hair. And the other guy's like, what are you talking about? He's definitely an alien. He's going fucking Super Saiyan. Like, uh, <laughs> funny. I saw the one where they're like, talking about katanas, the Japanese katana, yeah. and they're like... You know, there, there's no way we can even replicate. It had to be aliens. We cannot make these swords now. They had to, like, what? But if you spent hundreds of years trying yeah. to make one, I'm sure you'd be able to make one. This is, I mean, you think about making katana. It's like, you're heating the shit with coal or wood or whatever the fuck you use. I don't know. And you're folding it 800 goddamn pounds. But you have to keep it at a certain temperature, uniform throughout the whole, goddamn, from my understanding, I'm guessing. I don't know. It could have just been hitting that shit with rocks like, I think it's working. <laughs> you got to use fire and ice together. Oops. I mean, it is pretty crazy, like, back then, but, like, it didn't have to be fucking aliens. That's a Conan reference. <laughs> the lamentation of the women. <laughs> Let me punch this camel in the face. Yeah. Really was. One of the two. Don't shoot. Then <laughs> <laughs> I. You do the chopper. Don't shoot. Alright. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna end this shit. I'm ending it. Ooh.